Okay, here's another rational inequality. We have x plus 2 times x minus 2 over 2x. And when I look at this, I see the numerator is factored, and I see three things here. I see the x plus 2, the x minus 2, and the 2x. And those three things are significant. If I thought of this as a function, f of x is x plus 2 times x minus 2 over 2x, this factor of x plus 2 would correspond to an x value of negative 2. If x is negative 2, the function has a 0. And then over here, if x is positive 2, the function has a 0. And look here, if x is 0, that gives us a 0 denominator. And that would correspond to a vertical asymptote on the function. So those three x values are significant. I'm going to look at each of those x values, negative 2 and 0 and positive 2. And those three x values divide the x-axis up into four distinct regions. And I'm going to consider each of these three things in each of those four regions. So I'll set up a little chart here again, like we did before. And let's look at each of those. The x plus 2, the x minus 2, and the 2x. And let's see where each of these is positive or negative. Okay, first the x plus 2. Well, x plus 2, if you have x values here to the left of negative 2, x plus 2 will be negative. But if x is anywhere to the right of negative 2, any of those regions, x plus 2 is going to be positive. So it's positive for all of these. Now let's think about x minus 2. Well, if you have an x value that's less than negative 2, then x minus 2 will be negative. And if you have an x value that's less than 0, x minus 2 will be negative. And in fact, if your x value is anywhere up to 2, x minus 2 is still negative. But if you have x values greater than 2, then x minus 2 is positive. And then 2x, that's easy. That's negative here and negative here. In other words, wherever x is negative, 2x will be negative, and it will be positive here and here. So if I'm trying to compute a value for this, if I put in some value for x, then I, I do this multiplied by this divided by this, and if I have an x value over here, I will be computing a negative times a negative divided by a negative, and the result there will be negative. And if I have an x value in this region, the result will be positive. And if I have an x value in this region, my result will be, let's see, a positive times a negative divided by a positive will give me an answer that is negative. And then if they're all positive, which is the case for x values bigger than 2, the answer will be positive. So we can see our solution here. It will be, if we uh, graph it, I'll draw a new number line here. 0, 2, and negative 2. Where this is greater than or equal to 0 will be all the numbers in this region where we have a positive answer and this region where we have a positive answer. And this is greater than or equal to, so it would include the endpoints. So I'll graph this, for example, all the numbers greater than or equal to 2 and then I need this region, all the numbers between negative 2 and 0, including the endpoints because it's greater than or equal to, but I can't have an x value of 0 because that would give me a 0 denominator. So it's going to look like this. Okay, so that's it. If you wanted to write it out, you would say negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 0 or x is greater than or equal to 2. And we can try graphing this. I've got it in the calculator there, x plus 2 times x minus 2 over 2x. And if we hit graph on the standard zoom settings, let's see what it looks like. Okay, we've got a vertical asymptote at 0, and you see a slant asymptote. And we want to know, look back at our equation here, where this thing is greater than or equal to 0. So look on the graph. Well, you can see it's greater than or equal to 0 just to left of center. If x is negative 2 all the way over to 0, and then everywhere to the right of positive 2. 
and that's exactly what we had. I'll scoot this over. There you see it there. Everything left of, or everything between negative 2 and 0, but it doesn't include 0. The graph has a vertical asymptote right there at 0, and then everything to the right of and including positive 2.